blow drying now what we're going to do is do a wrap dry what I like to use is a cushion brush you could also use a demnum brush what I find is that sometimes I catch the ear with the demnum brush it's a little bit less forgiving than something like this so I can run it over the over the ear and I'm forgiven so what we're going to do is wrap the hair this way and then we're going to wrap it back the opposite way what that does is lifts the hair up it dries the roots and the mid lengths and then I'm going to finish off the ends with a round brush so what that's going to do is control the hair. I want to have total control of this blow dry, but the foundation is the wrap dry. Without that, my blow dry won't last. I want them to leave my shop with the best blow dry they have in that whole period. They go and they tell their friends and they talk about you. So it can be something that small that can make a difference. So I put a lot of pride and a lot of effort into my blow dry. weapon of choice is the Dyson Supersonic. It's changed my life. In, in, in saying that, it's, uh, it's shorter, it's lighter, it's weighted better, it's made for us to keep our elbows down so we don't end up with this sore, tired arm. The noise is amazing, it doesn't make any. It's so quiet. I can talk to my client at this level and I don't have to shout over the top of a blow dryer. Um, changed the whole way we do things and I think uh, this will be a sign of things to come with blow dryers, it's beautiful. I'm gonna put some aluminum oil in now. It's lightweight formula, it's gonna blow dry the hair 10% quicker, which is a big plus. It's got a beautiful shimmery shine, and it's got keratin amino acids and linseed oil, which is beautiful for that lustrous shine. Smells beautiful. And it's lightweight for me, it is very forgiving. Sometimes an oil can be quite heavy. This is beautiful. And I also like to comb this all the way through, even though I'm working it through with my hands, I like to get a comb and then work that through roots to end so I don't miss one hair on the head. You can already see the shine coming in there. You can, put, you can put this product on damp or dry, and as I said, it gives you a 10% quicker blow dry. So let's put it on both if you like. You could just put it on to finish, but it's great, and this is where it works hardest when you put it on damp hair. my blow dry and I am going to add one more product to this and it is the control cream so you can use that as a styling product in wet which works really well I like working with it with curly hair it blow dries in beautifully it's also a great cutting agent but for this purpose I'm just going to use it just to control these little new hairs and flyaways here so lightly going over the shape and I'm just going to glue them down Glue is probably the wrong word, but I'm just going to mold them down into the rest of the hair so they don't fly away. But first, I'm, going, I'm not cutting today. I'm just going to bust this up. And I do this a lot with clients rather than, you know, refreshing the whole haircut. I kind of like it because it's a broken line bob. It's a little bit deconstructed. What I want to come back in and do is just take the weight out. It's quite thick hair. So what I like to do is just comb that over my hand like this. And this is great for removing weight in the middle of the hair. So I simply just cut up into the hair like this. Just through those midsections. So you want to cut straight, not sideways, big problem. 
So we go in like that, and then you watch the amount of weight that comes out of there, all of that hair here. So it's quite a bit of hair, but what you keep is a bit of line on the hair. So there's already some weight through here. I just wanna get rid of the weight through here because it just gets a bit bobby and a little bit dated. And that gives the hair a little bit of texture. So when it moves, not only the color looks great, the hair looks seamless as well. Now what I want to do is just get a bit, a little bit of air in there, just float it around a little bit. And what you'll see is the texture in the hair and you'll also see the colour move. It's really beautiful colour, nice and seamless. It's blended beautifully into this existing colour. It seems crazy going into, into a haircut, a blow dry that you've done and you've polished it and perfected it and then you ruffle it up. But for me, texture is king and I really like hair that moves. And these products work really well with that because they're not setting the hair like a helmet. I want the hair to move and I want when she walks out of the salon, I love watching someone walk out of my salon and their hair's swinging. Because that's what everyone else sees. And if it looks beautiful, my business gets busier. That's what it's all about. So we've got control cream going in now, just a very little amount. I don't, I don't need much at all. And when I use too much, I keep it on the back of my hands, as in my palm, top of the palm. Work it through to my fingertips, get it on like a hand cream, and then I can just lightly go through with my fingertips, and then lightly go over those little flyaway hairs just to control the hair. And this will also create a little bit of light separation on the rest of the hair. These little highlighted ends will just come to into their own. Another great tip, a simple Simon tip is a neck brush and then just lightly go over the hair with that. So it's not a brush. I like to just sort of control the hair. If I'm doing a photo shoot, I use this all the time. Just, just basically controlling the hair without combing and I'm just patting over the top of the hair and it just helps me control the look. So we're going to wrap it up. Marie's happy. I'm really happy with it. It moves beautifully when it moves around. And you can just see lovely seamless hair by chopping a little bit of weight out. It just moves around, but the color looks spectacular. Really happy with that. That concludes this episode. Thanks for watching. See you soon.